today I'm going to talk to you guys about what is expected at WWDC, what isn't expected, and what I hope they will show at WWDC. So that's all. It's almost it's about two weeks, a bit more uh, weeks away uh, from our point right now, May 13th. Actually, it's about three weeks, but let's be optimistic and say two. And I can't wait. And I hope Apple releases a lot of these things. So the expected announcements that we will 100% see or at least 99.9% .9 see. iOS 11 is going to be huge. It's going to have a notifications overhaul. It's got to. Hopefully dark mode. Um, if you haven't seen my video on iOS 11 yet, it's in the cards right there. Um, I just hope it's, it has, I need a new design. I'm just bored of the old one or the current one, I guess. Um, hopefully there'll be uh, more Apple Pencil support, maybe for the iPad Pro like the the cheaper one maybe I probably can't do that it's probably not software it's probably hardware uh, but maybe some 3d touch on the ones that are supported just stuff like that uh, and I really hope iOS 11 is a good update that's worthwhile and I, I want it to be big hope hopefully it'll be because the 10th anniversary iPhone which is supposed to be all that is coming this year and it will run iOS 11 so keeping my fingers crossed the next thing is Mac OS 10.13 um, and hopefully, I don't really know what I'm looking for for this, but, um, Sierra brought a lot of stuff, uh, just a major improvement and stuff. Hopefully, uh, Mac OS, whatever, mountain in California or landscape in California, I guess. Um, hopefully it'll bring something good. And yeah, then something I'm really excited for, watch OS 4. Uh, watch OS 3 was a great update. Uh, for the watch it really brought new life in i want custom watch faces which is probably not going to happen um but watch os 4 hopefully will bring some improvements to the watch maybe new activities uh, maybe like a workout activity something like that instead of just running because really the only workout you can do from their app is running so hopefully i'm i really hope watch os 4 is awesome and we'll see a new tv os tv os 11 i think yeah, yeah, iOS 11, TV is at 11. Um, don't know what I expect there. Um, so I, I'm hoping that it has some good improvements. I don't really use my Apple TV that much, um, but maybe this will get me to. And here are the things that we may see. Uh, speculation. So the big thing that we are saying that Apple may announce at, I, or at WWDC is this Siri speaker, which is a direct competitor to Amazon Alexa or Amazon Echo and Google Home. Um, hopefully, if they do this, iOS 11 will have a bunch of Siri upgrades because the speaker would be useless without uh, up any Siri upgrades because uh, Siri is not very good. And I hope it it is a worthwhile product, um, priced well, not overpriced. Um, but I can't wait to get my hands on it if it's real. Um, another maybe uh, we may be seeing is um, new watch bands, uh, maybe just new colors and stuff. Uh, and also another maybe is uh, a Mac uh, MacBook Pro refresh, uh, just a little spec bump to the new Intel uh, chips. Uh, but nothing, nothing major there. No redesign. We just got the redesign. Um, and then the wild cards, which are my favorite hopefully there's something just random although their wild card if there is one will probably be the speaker the siri speaker um but if there is a wild card i'd like it to be the iphone 7s and 7s plus uh just hear me out it will look like the 7 we've already seen that if the, if this is even going to be a product it'll look like the 7 and it'll just be a little upgrade, probably spec upgrade, maybe camera upgrade. Um, and if they announce it now and release it this summer, there'll be more sales there. But it'll be a totally different product from the iPhone 8. And the public will not view the iPhone 7S as a inferior product. When it's a launch, when it's launched alongside the iPhone 8, don't know if they do that. Maybe it doesn't make sense, um, but personally, I would like to see the 7s this summer. Um, same design, everything. Maybe jet white, whatever that thing was ruined, rumored. Although jet white wouldn't make sense; it'd be like Arctic white or something. Hopefully, we'd see some upgrades there. 
And the final wild card I'd like to see is something I really haven't seen anywhere um, rumored anymore because of the new iPads, but I'd like to see that rumored bezel-less iPad. I really want that. I was saving up for that. I was so excited, and then they announced that terrible, well, not terrible, the cheap iPad. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, the 2017 iPad, iPad Air, uh, the cheap iPad. So I'd like to see the iPad. Those two wild cards probably won't exist. Um, the wildest thing that will probably be announced is this Siri speaker that is rumored. Um, but what else would you like to see? What do you think um, Apple will do with iOS 11, Mac OS? Uh, you tell me in the comments down below. I'll be hanging out in the comment section uh, for like, actually, whenever. So just comment whenever. Um, but if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.